One of the constellations is the very personification of spring. If you follow the arc of the Big Dipper's handle past Arcturus, it will bring you to another bright star, Spica. We even have a saying, Arc to Arcturus and Spike to Spica. Spica is the brightest star of the constellation Virgo, the Maiden. Virgo has been associated with spring and agriculture for thousands of years. One of the oldest surviving star catalogs is a Babylonian tablet called Mul Apin. In Mul Apin, our constellation Virgo is called the Furrow, and it represents Shala, their goddess of agriculture. In the classical Greek tradition, Virgo was associated with Demeter, another goddess of agriculture. And indeed, the name Spica is Latin for the ear of grain. Virgo also often represents Demeter's daughter, Persephone, a goddess of spring and queen of the underworld. The most famous story of Demeter and Persephone describes how Persephone became queen of the underworld. The god of the underworld, Hades, became enamored of Persephone. With the blessing of Zeus, Hades abducted her. Demeter was distraught at the disappearance of her daughter, and she forbade plants from growing. Faced with the prospect of a dying world, Zeus confessed that he knew what had happened, and sent Hermes to retrieve Persephone. But Persephone had already eaten the food of the underworld, and anybody who had eaten the underworld's food belonged to the underworld. Zeus knew that Demeter would only relent when her daughter was returned, so he broke her to compromise. Persephone would spend half the year in the underworld, and half the year with her mother. When Persephone is in the underworld, Demeter grieves and plants don't grow. And when Persephone is with her mother, Demeter rejoices and plants grow vigorously. And indeed, the constellation Virgo is in the sky during the spring and summer, and spends autumn and winter beneath the horizon. In the direction of Virgo in the sky, there is also a vast cosmic metropolis. Most stars are parts of the incomprehensibly vast collections of stars that we call galaxies. Galaxies themselves congregate into clusters of galaxies, and likewise clusters of galaxies congregate into immense superclusters. We are a part of a supercluster that astronomers call the Virgo supercluster. The center of this supercluster is some 65 million light years away. It lies in the direction of the constellation Virgo, but is vastly more distant than any of the stars that we can see with the naked eye. So when we gaze into Virgo, we also gaze into the heart of something unspeakably vast, one of the largest assemblies of which we are a part.